Hi friends, quick tutorial on how to use the binomial distribution using the TI Inspire CX CAS or no CAS, that makes no difference. They will both compute it perfectly. Here's a reminder, here's the uh, binomial distribution used to find the chances where you have uh, two outcomes, success or failure as it's written here. And uh, let's dive right into it. So let's find um, the binomial distribution. So we're going to start a new calculator and then go to statistics, go to distribution, and then find binomial PDF. And it's giving you a prompt here. Number of trials, say three. We're gonna, let's say we're going to throw a die three times and the chance for rolling a six is one over six every time, isn't it? So here are our probabilities starting from left to right. The chance of getting no six in three attempts is the largest, is 57%, followed by the chance for one six, for two sixes, 7% about, and almost 0% for rolling three sixes in three attempts. So this is what binomial PDF gives you the probabilities for each outcome in a list. Binomial CDF just adds up those probabilities. So binomial cumulative density function, let's do the same thing. Three tosses or with the die, one over six, lower bound zero, upper bound three, and to no surprise, the chance to, ro to get zero, one, or two, or three sixes in three attempts is 100%. So we can just grab this formula and modify it to our liking. So let's say I want to know the chances of tossing a zero or one sixes in three attempts. And that's 92%. And the 92% is just a result of adding the 57 and 34% will give you 92%. Say we're going to continue, going to add the chances for 0, 1, and 2 uh, sixes in three attempts, almost 100%, which makes sense. It's 100% minus uh, rolling three sixes in three attempts. So that's how the binomial CDF function works. It works like a charm. Alternatively, I also want to show you the Stats Made Easy app from tierinspireapps.com, which can do all the statistics that you would ever need in two or three semesters of statistics, can do all the combinatorics, all probabilities. Um, it can do statistics, mean, median, mode, harmonic, quartiles, percentiles, central limit theorem, all of this step by step. Regression, of course, um, it has all the, dis the discrete distributions, which we're going to look at in a second. And of course, it continues ones, normal, exponential. It does confidence intervals, any confidence interval you ever need. And um, significance tests, Z-test, T-test, F-test, non-parametric tests, Markov chains, and business statistics as well. So as we said, let's look at the binomial distribution. Here we go. So we, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do three tosses, one over six, and the two I'll explain in a second. We're going to go up. So the beauty about using this app, it has a formula here for you. And not only that, but it shows you how you find the probability of getting zero sixes in three tosses by plugging in all the values into your binomial formula and you get again the same answer almost 58 percent for and you're going to get 34 percent of almost 35 for getting one six in three attempts and here you can see the setup and how it's computed okay so you're going to get the same answers as before but everything is step by step and the two here, 
will give you the cumulative uh, uh, probability, binomial probability. So chances for, uh, of um, getting 0, 1, or 2 sixes is almost 100%. Let's change that up. Okay, so if we have x less or equal to 1, you're going to get 92, which we already saw earlier. The other option that you can use here for cumulative probability is right here, cumulative binomial distribution. Let's stick with our example, and let's do 0 or 1. And then you can see the chance of getting 0 or 1 sixes in three attempts is 92%. If you just want to change that from 0 to 2, almost 100%, and 0 to 3, it's, of course, 100% again, which is 1. And that's inclusive. You can also do exclusive 0 and 3. So that would be 1 and 2, which would be that probability, or inclusive 3 here and inclusive 0 here. So you can quickly alter the domain for your random variable to get the correct answer. Always correct and easy to use. That's the advantage of using the Statistics Made Easy app from tnspyapps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.